Alright, welcome back everybody. Today we have kind of a cool video coming at you. We're going to be looking at a War Sport LVOA. Uh, Ryan over here was a viewer and uh, a customer of TROP and he reached out to me and said, Hey Ben, how would you like to do a quick look at a War Sport? And I said, Ryan, well, funny you ask because we're bringing in War Sport rifles to the floor. Now, for all of you that don't know, War Sport makes high-end AR-15s. They are very well built. The parts they put in them are excellent and um, it'll be really tough to find someone out there that says something negative about War Sport. So without further ado, I got Ryan with me. We're going to ask him questions about it, what he likes, what he doesn't. And uh, if you guys have any questions about War Sport after the video, by all means leave them in the comments. Ryan, how's it going, man? It's going good. Uh, okay, so what made you want to build this? Uh, a couple years ago, I built a, or I just put together a six hour 516, and it's just a basic rifle, nothing too special about it. Sure. And then I had a couple friends who build rifles and like to do different things, and I was like, I want to build my own. So I started looking into different companies and started looking and doing research, and just found this. And War Sports, a good company out of North Carolina that I started hearing a lot of good things about. So. Yeah, and. Uh this is a built gun, but it uses War Sport parts. What is the lower? It's the Costa lower? Is it's that what the it is? It's the Costa um, signature lower. Okay, cool. With his signature, or with his series. Yeah, if you guys can see there, it has his Triton on it. Uh, very cool lower. Um, and how do you like it thus far? You've shot it a little bit, um, and what do you think of it? One of the best guns I've ever shot. I mean, being in the Marine Corps, I shoot a lot. And this thing shoots flat. Very, very flat. I had the opportunity to shoot it. We'll roll in some footage of that, but it shoots extremely flat. And this is the first war sport I ever shot um, and handled. And before, before I ever had the opportunity to do that, I thought these things were going to weigh like a metric ton. But it's not heavy at all. It handled really, really well. And like Ryan said, it shoots super, super flat. Um, so you're also running an MRO on top of it. How do you like that? Uh, I love it so far. I haven't got too many chances to use it, but so far it's holding up well, and I like looking through it. It's very cool. Um, I see you have the CMC trigger inside, which is awesome. That's a great, great trigger. Guys, there's some videos that we did on those as well. And you have a Lantac bolt carrier group, which is also excellent. Is there anything that you would change about this rifle? Uh, not... At this time, I wouldn't. I mean, just a little bit of weight up front towards the commentator, but other than that, it it's a well-rounded rifle. I, I love everything about it so far. Would you say this is your go-to rifle? Definitely. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Guys, like, we, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to be bringing in War Sport to the floor. We're going to have a bunch of their different models. So if you're in the store, by all means, go see a salesman, check them out, handle them, and... Uh, and uh, see for yourself the quality that goes into these guns because they are really, really nice. Um, how long did it take you to build this, Ryan? I uh, put it together in about two months, two and a half months. I was out at training and just started doing research on different things I wanted to do to it and picked out the build kit and after everything was done and said, about two and a half months. Yeah. A lot of people ask about the rail on War Sports because they have a really cool rail. It has their signature cutout down here by the muzzle brake and it kind of, it doesn't, not kind of, but it covers the entire barrel and the muzzle brake. You can't get these rails separate. They don't sell them separately. You have to purchase either a War Sport upper, which you did, or the rifle. And uh, as you can see, there's some shock cord they weave through there. They always, that's kind of another signature of War Sport, they always include some shock cord on the rail for um, pressure pads, lights, things like that. Um, it's just another added advantage. You don't have to use it, you can take it off, but I think it's just kind of cool looking. Uh, so Ryan, were your buddies kind of jealous after you built this? I mean, were they kind of envious of this rifle? I mean, it's pretty... A lot of guys that I've been hanging out with down in North Carolina, they shot it and they actually thought like this thing was like a BB gun. It's got minimal recoil and it's it's just fun to shoot all around. Yeah. Now, all right, guys, that's a quick look at these excellent AR-15s. Ryan, Trop, and myself, we really appreciate you letting us take this bad boy for a spin. Guys, if you have any questions for me or Ryan, please leave them in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like the video, share it with your buddies. Go visit us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you on the next video.